her. She understands this real well. And to bring all of that knowledge uh, to the chairmanship of the Congressional Black Caucus uh, is something uh, that I really, really am very uh, happy to be associated with. And so, ladies and gentlemen, let me at this time introduce and present the Honorable Carolyn T. Kilpatrick. <laughs>
I don't know the protocol, but uh, comes to and die and walks into your clothes. You want to say a word? I was thinking that Wait, well, she's having dinner. Why don't we, why don't we hear from the rest of you? I don't know what we're talking about. I think you kind of forgot about that, Sophia. Uh, leadership of uh, NMPA. <laughs> so I, 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 I just wanted to jump in here a minute and uh, bring John up, too. And we certainly want to get to our members who are here. But I wanted to just bring greetings from the NNPA Foundation. Mr. Smith is our NNPA <coughs> on the association side chair. So we are sharing these duties. This is a little different. This should only be one person that did vote. But we want to welcome all of you here and to say to the Congress people how very important you are in our lives. And we want to be able to share all of the good work that you are doing uh, with our constituents, your our readers, your constituents who go, come around every election and send you back to Congress. We want to thank them for that. I'm especially happy today because, and I do have a newspaper in Indiana. It's not uh, in Annapolis, Indiana, but very Indiana. And we are very pleased. I had a very warm and wonderful relationship with uh, Congresswoman uh, uh, Julia Carson many, many years before she came to Congress. And what a wonderful woman she is, and to have her grandson to follow in her footsteps. I am extremely, just personally proud today. I took uh, for the privilege to just mention, and I'm going to sit down after this, to just mention a couple of things that we have going on at NNPA. And we need your help. I spoke with uh, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton first. I thought that was protocol. And uh, then I kind of spread it around to some of the others. But we have two projects here in the district that I know that many of you will want to join with us. Uh, Ed Town said, oh yes, I, we do want to be a part of this, I'm sure. Uh, and that is, NNPA owns a house in this city, and we are going to turn it into a black press museum. It's on uh, 13th Street, and we're very happy about that. And in addition to that, we have been invited to have a wing, a wing at the Howard University, John H. Johnson School of Communications. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have an opportunity to re leave a real legacy in the nation's capital and indeed it spreads throughout the country of our presence in the history of African Americans. And so we are going to be calling on you to help us uh, make that a reality. And you've never failed us before, and we're expecting that we're going to get the kind of response and help that we need. But I just wanted to say, all of my dear friends that I know, Donna Christensen and, and uh, Ed Towns and, and uh, 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 Congresswoman Kilpatrick, our leader, who worked on many issues before, and I just wanted to say that thank you again for spending time. We always come at a busy time. But I guess John Russworm and Samuel Cornish felt that it was important in March that they started the first black newspaper. So that's how we conflict with this budget every time. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you so much. I see Dr. Wilma Wallace coming in, and I'm going to let John say something. It wasn't as brief as what Oakville told me, but anyway, I'm out of here now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy, and good afternoon. It is indeed my pleasure in representing approximately 200 African American newspapers. More importantly than that, for the 15 plus million readers that we serve weekly. Largely, many of them are responsible for what you said today. And I want to reach out to Congress Lady. Patrick, to make a personal appeal before my colleagues. If in some of them, we have been coming here <coughs> this time since the days of the late Carlton B. Goodman, mm -hmm. a true warrior, 